stranded again. There's no fenders on this. <laughs> to Pet Brothers Off-Road. We're turning this boring four-seat Jeep into a six-seater. We just hopped in Cave's new ride. The last truck didn't have a big enough lift. I sold the one with the oil leak that we ended up fixing or helping and upgraded to this 2005 F-350. Like always, she's a dame. I just barely... Oh, dude! And like always, it needs a set of injectors. We just picked up the steel that we need. We got the cheapest stuff that they had. And now we gotta go pick up uh, some brand new Lamborghini seats. So we're just pulling into the storage unit. We have these seats from an old project we were working on. I think they're gonna work great for what we're doing. Where did they come from anyway? Toyota. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, yeah. Those are good. Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the. I, I wish they had the Lamborghini stitching on them. Braid, what building materials have we got here? Well, we got uh, some two inch tube that we're gonna make some really redneck tube clamps, but they should work pretty good. We got some one inch by. 120 wall square tube that's for our main frame we're gonna have a main frame and a sub frame but we're gonna focus on the main frame today <laughs> what's alex doing he hasn't done anything we since got we got some lamborghini seat lamborghini that's the one that brady's gonna ride in right there for sure. it's gonna have a bigger stain than that when you're up there and i'm yeah, drifting in say, the team somebody already had an accident in that seat Brady's gonna start on the redneck tube clamps and me and Alex are gonna work on the mainframe. A few moments later. Alex is working on the angles that the two tubes going across are gonna need to be at. Shorter side's two inches. No way. We cut these little grooves out of this square tubing. So then we're just gonna bend that down. Math, baby. To a 45, yeah. That, that was because of my equation. <laughs> <laughs> don't blow a brain cell. Oh, you don't have many. I don't have much to lose. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you got? These are our tube clamps. Wow! 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 Yeah. Those are way nicer than I thought they were gonna be. They're not square or flat, but they're sanded. They're circle. the drone and having to go find it definitely set us back on time we just finished up the tube clamps these will probably be on the website soon for anybody that's interested they're Not gonna see one is made the same they're all unique they're all unique that's what's cool about them they're a little bit offset One's a little bit taller than the other. They're not gonna be super cheap, 
on the website either because there's a lot of time they take in these. About a day to build. And then, yeah, they're about a day to build or so. But the, what is going on here? We told them we shouldn't do it, but it's insisted. So Brady used the wrong bit and drilled all of these out too small. Oh, hell the people, man. Every one of these has got to get re-drilled. Look at that. Part of the fun. Eventually. Dude, this is 10 times more safe than I thought it was gonna be. It's like locked into this cage. We could totally roll on the side, it would be fine. We just couldn't roll all the way over. I mean, this one might have a headache. Chances are good, we're not gonna roll all the way over though. Oh my gosh, can I ride it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. That's why we built it. Oh my gosh. It's a sexy. <laughs> Day two. Today is the day that it's gonna be put into action. I'm driving and these two are rock, paper, scissoring to see who's- doing nothing. That ain't happening. Uh -uh. We built them yeah. for my Jeep, I'm driving. No. Oh. <laughs> That's that <laughs> simple. <laughs> well, how do we do it then to make it fair? You guys rock, rock paper, scissors, paper, scissors first. And then I'll play winner. No! You, you don't know, know that. No, all you all go three first. Of us, all of us three right now. And whoever wins, one guy's gonna lose. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, <laughs> you, you, lost. you lost! You had okay. a rock okay. in your okay. hand. He lost, but he's riding for sure. <laughs> he's riding for sure. Alright. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I'm driving. <laughs> Let's make it happen. That was not very fair because I've never won a game of rock, paper, scissors, I don't think, in my whole life. What's wrong with you, bro? What the heck? You tripping, bro. You tripping! <laughs> I've got to be honest here, I'm a little bit nervous to be up that high with Caleb at the wheel. He doesn't have a very good track record in this Jeep if you watch any of our other videos. The good thing about it is I can probably reach my foot down there and smack him. I kind of feel like I should be wearing a helmet, but I don't want to be a wuss, so we're gonna, we're gonna go helmetless. Well boys, it sounds like we have a task. We do. We got these packages from people supporting Peck Brothers Off-Road. <laughs> right that we on. gotta bring to drop off to get sent out and we're taking the double decker bus we're taking the tour bus here we got the pullman family from mo what's mo <laughs> that man washington oh what's mo missouri no no nah, mo's missouri yeah it's missouri where's yours from this one's going to gerben mortgat in uh, Belgium. Be oh. Clear in Belgium. Is there a city named Belgium in the United States no, or what? No, it's That's Belgium, Belgium in Europe. Thank you so much yeah, to right everyone on. who supports our channel. We absolutely love taking these packages and getting them out to you. Is it gonna hit it? I think we're gonna clear. <laughs> a little bit more. 
Right? Yeah, we yeah, can. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, Alex, what do you want? I want a biggie bag. Uh, what do you want to drink? Uh, let's do a good old fashioned root beer. All right, well, I bought those for you in the second one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that one had about an inch and a half. We built it that way. Yeah. We said, what's the Wendy's drive through clearance? <laughs> do you watch YouTube? You got to follow us, Peck Brothers Off Road. Good old Wendy's. You're the man, thank you. 12 seconds later. How we doing, boys? Good, how are you doing? Good. Got a couple problems. Alrighty. What's that? Any idea what that might be? Um, the seats? That's one of them. Alright. See what this says right here on the side? Yes, sir. Off-road. You know why that would say off-road? Uh, because it's for off-road. It's for off-road. There's no fenders on this. There's no mud flaps. You're required by law to have fenders over your tires. You can't be running around without fenders. Okay. And then there's a third problem. I don't see a license plate anymore. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you warning on all this stuff. Okay. But I don't want to see this back in town unless it's street legal. Okay. Okay. Is, I got a question. Are these illegal? Because they got seat belts and everything. Is there a law that would say something about these? I wouldn't write a ticket on it because I wouldn't know off the top of my head which one it would be. Right. But it's really not a smart thing. Right. It's yeah. It's really understand. not a smart thing. Let's, let's make sure we're legal, guys. Okay. Uh, I deal. appreciate okay. it. Take care. <laughs> Were you filming? Oh, yeah. Did <laughs> you film the whole thing? Pretty much. Heck, yeah. He was cool. He least. was way cool. He was way cool. I thought we was getting a ticket for sure. I thought I was going to get arrested. Okay. But he let us off scot-free. I probably should put a license plate on my Jeep at some point soon. You do have one. a good idea. Oh, yeah. It's licensed, insured, registered, everything. You just can't find any of There's it. There's just nowhere on the back for it to go, so... He did say the tire size was fine. He said 43s are fine. There's no law. Little did he know, stickies aren't DOT compliant. <laughs> no. Is that it? Is that it? All right. Thank Thanks. You. Day three. All right, it's day three. We got pulled over yesterday. Today's a better day. We're going to go test out those seats and see if they work off road. What is that? <laughs> what? I can't tighten it up. But I can't tighten it up. <laughs> we got a special guest for you today, our little sister Callie. Let's get her done. All right, this is the first real off-road test. We got our sister Callie in the passenger, Brady in the driver. I'm just confused because you're the one that lost right for paper scissors. <laughs> We got Callie up there riding for us. How's it feel? Good. Are you scared? No. <laughs> Should they be? Probably. <laughs> we'll be fine. We're going to test them out with some donuts. We just uh, stopped to grab the drone and our Jeep won't start. No, 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 Lloyd, no. I don't know if you're playing a joke on me, but it isn't funny. Oh. <laughs> it's cold. We got gas? Yeah, there's there's fuel this time. I don't hear the fuel pump. <laughs> well, we're stranded again. This time we have gas. Callie, mm -hmm. what's wrong with Ow. your brother? The Want littlest. The littlest brother. <laughs> the littlest brother. What's wrong with him? I don't know, but he needs a smack. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't want to get out. No, we're just going to stay gonna right here. Keep letting Cabe fix fix it. There's a chance that so I might have just found something. So you're telling me there's a chance? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I've had it. All right, while well, Caleb's trying to fix a Jeep, I'm going to do a little snowboarding. 
Oh yeah, he's cooking so now. Cooking. Look at him. We need you to go to O'Reilly, snowboard to O'Reilly's. We're going to have to walk home, go get something to pull this home with, with no power steering. We've got to get... What the flip is this? We've got to give the viewers what they I want. I honestly don't know what that is. It's just laying on the floor? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was hot, so I just taped it. So it didn't ground out on anything. If, if this is our problem... It's not. I'm gonna lose it. What would that have to do with, oh, you know what? That's probably to my sound bar. Let's see. Sound bar? Let me see it again. Yep, no, I, I did. I put this connector on it because there was no way that anything could touch it if it had a connector on it. See, Elon Musk needs to hit me up. Electrical engineering degree. Start wiring right his cars. Yeah. <laughs> Why does everything we have break down every time we use it? Relax. Why? Wanted to go have fun in our new seats we got to start walking because it's gonna start getting dark and the nice thing is we're not that far You guys watch a lot of YouTube? White fans? Some. A little bit? Yeah. Well, we actually, we have a YouTube channel. Oh, have you been doing the That's what we were doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 It's Peck Brothers Off-Road. If you guys want to see this, Peck Brothers. Yeah, P-E-C-K. Last video, we got stranded up there. Again, <laughs> just, just farther. This is, this is not the second time. They dropped us off back here at Braids. We're gonna jump in Alex's truck and head back up there. I got a crescent wrench, so we'll see if we can get it fixed. If not, we're gonna have to tow it. About a week ago, we just launched our winter wheel and sweatshirt. It's a great, nice fit, and it's nice and warm for all you guys that like to wheel out in the winter time. So make sure to go to peckbrothersoffroad.com, check out all the merchandise that we got, and let's get back to the action. Why do we break down every single time we go out? just starting to be a theme with our channel. Yeah, especially when it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> it never happened in the summer. No, never. no, ever. I think this looks sad. Here's where these fuel pump fuses should be. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. Oh, is that one good? <laughs> yeah, that one's good. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. Oh, they're all good. That sure makes it easy. We can't figure out what's wrong with it, so we're just gonna have to tow it clear back down, bring it in the garage, and try and figure out what's going on. The Toyo RTs don't have any traction in the snow. Woo! Yeehaw! We just 180 that Jeep. What do you think, Sit Mr. On. Murphy? Sit down. Good boy. We got the Jeep back in the garage, towed it all the way back, pushed it in here. We just found the problem, and this thing actually was not what I thought it was. <laughs> This came out when we were probably bouncing off the rev limiter and whatnot. Wiggled loose when we were driving down the road. So you're telling me that Brady knows more about your Jeep <laughs> than you know about I'm your telling Jeep. you that Brady was right. Brady's normally always right. That's oh. why I always want him to just fix my Jeep. Plug it in, let's see if it works. I knew it was gonna be something dumb. Okay, hit the key. Come on, baby, cross your fingers. Wow. That was it. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Let's be honest here. We could have lost a $300 fuel pump. Could have lost the PCM, the computer. Those I feel good about this. $800 tune you had written for yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Let's get this puppy so we can at least get another couple hundred miles out of it. And then tomorrow we'll film the rest of this video. That's day four. Four days here. Four day days. four on this one. All for you guys.
day four. We woke up this morning and saw that last night it snowed a solid foot. It was freezing last night. We're stoked about the snow, but we're gonna uh, we're gonna see if the old Jeep will start. Oh yeah, baby! Woo. We're back up here. It's a new day. It's fresh snow. It's so deep. We're ready to go throw some roosters and have some fun. than I thought it was gonna be. The only time it's really like scary is when you can see the tires turn from up here and it doesn't turn. It just keeps going the other way. And then when you get really close to a tree, that scares me pretty good too. But other than that, it feels pretty solid. I need to check and make sure how much fuel it has. Why would you do that? <laughs> We've still got about four inches in the bottom of the tank. It's an eighth of a tank. Eight. <laughs> I don't know how tall the tank is, but I'll bet there's there's still probably four gallons in it. That's at least 80 bucks in fuel. Hey, it's hard to fill this thing up. We live so far from a gas station. I have to put it all in gas cans to bring it. Give me a break here. Yeah, we lose half a tank getting just back up here. Yeah. How did you talk him into doing that? <laughs> That's dad right there. <laughs> How you feeling, dad? I'm questioning my decision right now. <laughs> you wish you had different kids? I'm not worried about me coming out of this seat. I want to know who welded the bracket. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. We, we all welded it. <laughs> oh, now I can <laughs> Come on, these tube clamps. These tube clamps aren't going anywhere. Hurry and go so you can't get out. Alex up to a snowboard and see if he can make it through this parking lot with all the ruts. <laughs> no, we're gonna see if I can backflip. I better be able to make it through the ruts. Dude, there's like some at least two foot ruts in there. What are you gonna backflip off of? The ruts. <laughs> Dude, that'd be sick. Even if you like double a rut, that'd be sick. That'd be sweet. Could you see those flames? Did you get it? I wasn't worried so much about filming. Dude, look at this. Pin was pulled. I was ready to rip. Look at the hood. I thought that crap wasn't flammable. Oh, 
Dude, dude, that's one. That's a sales pitch for those hood louvers. <laughs> yeah. Because you could see the flames. Like we wouldn't have known it was on fire had the flames yeah, not I been coming through. Down. They were like that far above the louver. Yeah. A huge flame. Oh my oh. God. We haven't had anything catch on fire yet. That was a. That was scary. Now we're stuck again. <laughs> again. Day four. We're stuck again. We came in. First revolution, I looked down on the driver's side, and I'm not gonna lie, I saw a tranny fluid. But I was like, screw it, more gas. Nope, Came around again, and there was like a lot more. And I was like, all right, I should probably stop. That's why I stopped and looked at my hood louvers, and there's fire coming <laughs> and then out you, of them. You heard fire! <laughs> Dude, look at all this tranny fluid. Dude, first thought, I grabbed, this was attached right here. Now, what, what brother got you that? Dude, this is my oldest brother got me this. What would have happened? It was literally right here. That would have been so much scarier if I wouldn't have had this. So we're in a big parking lot, and there's a bunch of snowmobilers. And I'm going to go walk over to this guy and see if he's got any tools. My Jeep just caught on fire. So, you serious? <laughs> yeah. We were doing some... I don't know what those like quick donuts and four wheel drive. I don't yeah. know what that's called. And the tranny line blew and threw like ATF all over like the headers. And so it caught on fire. <laughs> we got the whole thing on. We actually have a YouTube channel. Oh really? So yeah, yeah. Do you have like a Phillips? I think it's like a Phillips or a regular. Yeah, no, that's, thank you so much, yeah, man. I, I, I <laughs> me too, me too. If we're still here when you guys come back down, We'll wave you down. I got a penny, a regular little screwdriver, and a crescent wrench. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're, we're, this split. thing's caught. It yeah, it's split. I just felt it. Do we have anything to cut it with? We don't have any tools. We don't have anything. Again. Remember yesterday? Yeah, when we were like, we're never going to go up without no tools again. You remember yesterday when we broke down? <laughs> yes, I, I remember that, Bray. And you said, I'm never leaving again with a, not a tool bag. Well, That's on camera. We don't have a tool bag. We don't have anything. Did you not learn your lesson the last time? This literally happened Did last we week. Did you have a tool bag? I don't even... There was so much pressure that it burst the line. So you can see right here. We don't have a knife to cut it, but I'm just gonna keep stabbing it. <laughs> oh, that's gonna work for sure. I, I hope we didn't lose too much tranny fluid. Nah. Oh, I might have some ATF. You do. Heck yeah. I don't have a funnel to put it in. I might have some ATF back here. Heck yeah. Has it got anything in it? <laughs> oh, it's in. Oh, I've had it. Are you kidding me? No, nope, there's some in it. Heck yeah, we got something. This one's got a little bit in it. It looks like the... Dang, the... Well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, keep going. That looks like the string cheese man on the string cheese. Looks like this guy should be singing Bob Marley <laughs> on a beach. <laughs> All right, okay, put, let's start it and put it in gear. Something's not having very much fun out there. No, I think it's power steering pumps. That's a good. That's a good feeling. Real good feeling. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get home safe. I need to fix those tranny lines. This was the funnest video to date we've ever made. And I'm curious, I wanna know what you guys would do if you had the double decker Jeep. We think that the double decker Jeep was a success and we have tons more plans for it in the future. 